Alright, so it's Thursday night. Good thing I came back in here because this is still running. Ooh. That was supposed to stop a while ago. Um, but there you go. Zelda by Lavi Salts, our employee who is now retired. I was only able to keep an employee for one month before she straight up left me and for reasons. And the reasons are that I did not sexually harass my employee in a position of power. That's what happened. Uh, no, we only, we only signed a contract for like a year. I mean a month. But I want to tell you all about this bullshit. Because came in this morning and we got a, a nice birth mouse because somebody decided to spin off and do their own thing. Uh, but now we need to inspect how it looks, and it looks pretty good, pretty good. I'm not seeing any dripping resin or plastics, but I gotta clear this because if I'm gonna start another print in the morrow, I gotta gotta have the bed clear. Next up is I came in this morning and we had a problem here where it stopped. And I was like, how did that happen? Oh, well, it ran on a filament. Why didn't the sensor go off? Oh, the sensor didn't go off because it somehow wrapped around, hooked into itself, preventing it from activating the sensor and just stopped. So the spool ran out and it failed because of that. Because it locked itself into this grid pattern. Great job. Mm, great job. Absolutely stupid. And then uh, we came over here and we had a shift. We had a shift right at the end. Something happened. That's really annoying. So, we have another failure on the pile. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Let's just restart everything, why don't we? Alright, so it's Thursday now. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. This is now Thursday. It was Wednesday yesterday, now it's Thursday. And we got a problem. Um, so I restarted these a little while ago. They're all going fine. I started this one this morning, and I trusted this one to do its best, and it sure didn't, sure didn't, and it did something I've never seen before, which is it broke its own circuit board. Ripped the plug right off the motherboard. So this one's kinda dead. Kinda completely dead. But that saves me from having to really try. So I'll just, it's just time to open it. I'm, I don't have the soldering kit in order to fix that. Yeah. All right, so it's easy peasy just pop in a new hot end and hope that everything works out. We do need to have to level the bed again though because there's a chance that this thing is not the right distance. All right, so here we go, making sure that everything is level and it sure fucking isn't, not at all. Yeah, that's not sticking even a little bit. Also, you can get this calibration test uh, that I made. You can get it on our Cult 3D store. It basically just does a bunch of rings so that you can dial in the setting and set the Z offset without having to do a lot of extra work. You and you just keep going until it sticks. So, making that Z offset really low. Oh, I think we got it. It's finally sticking. Ah, perfect, it can go a little. And that looks good, we're at negative 1.08. Now, we just released our Your Forger and Anya figure today, and it is something to behold. 
They are looking great. Extra spicy. And we have other versions, including Futa versions of all of it. So make sure you check out the store to get them. And you can order them, and we can print them for you and paint them. Now we've got to figure out why this clear resin is not working for us. I've repositioned the file again, and we've lowered it. I've made it so that Zelda is up and down instead of side to side. Maybe that'll help. Looks like it's doing good. Excellent. Ah, uh, so that's the easiest fixing job I've ever had to do. Just swap out the whole head. But it looks like I'm out. Or do I have one more? So we gotta get the next part of Corona going. Okay, we got Corona going. Uh, and I got her files. And it looks like she's sticking. But the better thing is that there is progress. We finally have the clear resin printing something. So, finally ready to get a result, and I wanna point out something else. So, see all this? They just keep sending me boxes because I bought up all the stock that Nova 3D had on resin. Apparently they were clearing out, they got a new formula, and they're like, we gotta offload all this stuff. You wanna take it? So they just keep sending me boxes every day, every day. And I'm sure they're not done. There's just so much happening. So many boxes keep coming. Uh, now, we got... Right, we need to finish blades. Um, and actually, I think all of our Futa figures might be done and ready to go. So I'm going to have to box those up tomorrow and get them out of here. Blades is still on the rack, on the rocks, because as you can see. And here's Chewy. What are you chewing? Oh, you just found a rat's nest of black plastic? Yep. Just loves the plastic. But we got our other printers. That thing's up and running and working great. This thing's up and running and working great. It's making a lot of noise, but for the most part, it looks to be printing fine. This is obviously brand new now, so that's working great. And lastly, this thing looks like it's working. Somehow. Actually, no, it doesn't. It looks like it's peeling because... I don't know. Mm, that's not good. Why is there this big overhang with nothing underneath it? I must have screwed up. Well, let's let it keep running and hope it doesn't have a problem. But that's all for today, so I'll talk to you all later. Bye!